I look more at the 9009 preparation. So it's really cool. If we take it based on the time of day, it's going to work differently because this is more of the circadian world. So I see this being more of a basically a circadian light game more than anything. So just like you got in the sun or got into the moon, get that same circadian exposure. It's almost the same thing, but in drug format, if that's the best way to word it. So if you were to take it in the AM hours of the day, that's going to set you up for those actual cascades during the day. So insulin sensitivity and things like that. Because if you need more of the recovery player, more of the nocturnal sleep player, we'd actually take that before bed in the PM side of things. Oral preparations are pretty terrible on a side. I don't see any. I mean, I, I've just never seen it actually play out. Maybe one or two people here or there, but over the thousands of people, it's like, okay, that's not enough to hang my hat on. Injectable preparations at one to 10 milligrams can do some really cool things. Again, I usually see it though as the circadian fixer or more as like the insulin resensitizer. It's supposed to do some other things. And I just, I haven't seen it play out enough to really say, yeah, I can also do that too. So this could be the son of this thing. Like if you're traveling to reset circadian patterns and you're changing time zones, or if maybe for whatever reason you need that and you also need the changes to insulin sensitivity and nutrient partitioning it could also be that it can help some people start to reestablish their uh sleep architecture as well so that'd be the pm dose